The Amazon Associates program is likely the largest affiliate program in the world and a fantastic option for affiliate marketing beginners. However, it does have some of the strictest and we'll say strangest rules around. I'm sure we've all read the horror stories online of countless Amazon Associates getting their accounts banned. They open up their email inbox, they see something from Amazon, they open it, only to read the worst email of their life. Their account has been closed and their commissions have been confiscated. If this hasn't happened to you, then good on you for being proactive. However, in order to keep it this way, we wanted to put together this video. Before we start, my name is Austin Twiner. I'm in charge of content and growth for GeniusLink, a intelligent link management platform that integrates heavily with the Amazon Associates program. We've been building this tool for over a decade and throughout all that experience, we've assembled this list of the main reasons why Amazon Associates get their accounts banned. Now, before we jump into the rest of this video, I want to point out that we have our free ebook, Mastering Amazon Associates, available in the YouTube descriptions of all of our videos. In this ebook, we share all the knowledge we've gained about the Amazon Associates program, and I'm confident there are several tips in this ebook that are gonna help you increase your Amazon affiliate earnings overnight. So the first reason that we see a lot of Amazon Associates get banned from the program has to do with link cloaking or shortening. This is in, Part six of the participation agreement, clauses V and W. As you can see here, it says you will not cloak, hide, or spoof, or otherwise obscure the URL of your site containing special links, affiliate links. It also says you will not use a link shortening service, button hyperlink, or other ad placement that makes it unclear that you are linking to an Amazon site. So a lot of associates take this as a sign that you can't shorten a link or uh, shorten a link or cloak it, but this is actually not true. Amazon is basically asking one, for refer data to still be available to them if you are cloaking the link, and two, that it needs to be very obvious to your audience that the link that they're about to click heads to Amazon. So if you're not showing Amazon inside of the URL or web address, they want you to display it in text, maybe in the call to action saying something like, buy now on Amazon, or maybe you have an Amazon logo that is a button that your audience takes to get to Amazon. I'll include a few examples on screen of what would be considered compliant. While it may seem like a great idea on paper to include official Amazon prices, customer reviews, star ratings, and even official images, these are actually some of the things that can get you in the most trouble. If you're going to be using official Amazon information, these pieces of information must be accurate within a 24 hour period. It's not going to be very realistic for us to update all of our blog posts, YouTube videos, social media posts that mention these specific pieces of information. So what the most successful affiliates do is take advantage of the Amazon product advertising API, where you can grab these information pieces of information in real time. Now, not everyone that is an Amazon associate is going to be super technical, which is where a lot of the apps and plugins inside of the Amazon associates ecosystem come into play. The third reason why we see a lot of Amazon associates getting banned from the Amazon associates program is for not properly identifying themselves as an Amazon associate. Amazon gives you a template disclaimer that you can use. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. They state that they want this at the page level as well as the link level. So it should be very obvious to anyone viewing your content that you are an Amazon associate. You also have to worry about the FTC if you are going to be promoting Amazon affiliate links or really any affiliate link for that matter to Americans in order to uh, pass truth in advertising standards. I'll go over a few examples of what your affiliate disclaimer should look like and be sure to check out our long form blog post where we talk about affiliate disclaimers. I'll leave it in the description. The next step you'll wanna to take to make sure that you are not banned from the Amazon Associates program is properly maintaining your website list on Amazon Associates. You can find this by hovering over your email address and going to your account settings and clicking on your website list. Amazon wants to vet all of the different traffic sources that you're sending them clicks from in order to maintain compliance. If they detect that a website is not on this list that led to a commission, you're putting yourself in jeopardy of being banned. So make sure to keep this list updated. If you're signed up for the other international Amazon associates programs, be sure to reflect those changes or any changes you make on USA to the international storefronts as well. Since everyone uses amazon.com to purchase pretty much everything, it would make a lot of sense to ask your friends and family members maybe to bookmark your affiliate link for use later. Well, that's actually wrong as that's another very common reason why we see a lot of Amazon associates getting banned. Think about it from Amazon's perspective. The whole reason they launched this affiliate program is to generate sales that wouldn't have happened otherwise. So if you're telling your audience, your friends, your family to use your link whenever they use, they're making a purchase, it's not capturing any additional value. So that's why the Amazon operating agreement specifically says you must not encourage customers to bookmark your links. And at that same time, they also tell you that you cannot have any incentive for your audience using your links, whether this is giving them money, a rebate, a discount, or some sort of points or charity. 
So keep an eye out for this. It's actually more common than you would think. And another similar situation that comes up is a lot of times you'll see creators say, use my affiliate links to support the channel. You're actually not allowed to use that wording, support. Uh, it should happen naturally with the products that you already promote. If your audience decides that they want to purchase it, they will go ahead and do so. The last major reason why we see some Amazon associates getting themselves in trouble is for using affiliate links in offline material. So anything printed, eBooks, mailing, or even oral solicitation. I'm not, so, I'm not sure how someone would type out a affiliate link orally. That's pretty interesting. There was a pretty recent change that's pretty important in that Amazon affiliate links are now officially allowed inside of emails, SMS, and direct messaging from social media websites as long as the communications are solicited, meaning they opt into it. This is a pretty powerful marketing channel that is now unlocked in the Amazon Associates program that for the entire history of the program was not available. All right, everyone. So these are the main reasons why we see Amazon Associates getting banned from the program. If you'd like to learn about a few other cases or some more tips and tricks about the Amazon Associates program, be sure to claim that free ebook in the description of this YouTube video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you can be notified when we have more content. And if there's a topic you'd like us to cover next surrounding Amazon Associates or affiliate marketing, be sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.